Listen, we all love pronghorns. I mean, the second fastest land mammal? Who isn't gonna be a fan? But if there's one bad thing about pronghorns, it's that there aren't enough of them. Let's meet one of the scientists working to fix that. The American West has a lot of mythology behind it. Land of open skies and wide plains, where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Except all those old folk singers lied to you. There are no true antelope in the United States. These magnificent animals are pronghorn. Although they may look like deer, the closest living relative of this species is actually a giraffe. Pronghorn are the fastest ungulate, or hoofed animal, in North America, easily reaching speeds of 60 miles per hour. But these beautiful animals are facing real threats in many territories around West Texas, from parasites and loss of habitat to drought, which limits their food supply. In the 1980s, the Trans-Pecos population was about 17,000 strong. By 2010, there were less than 3,000 remaining. Authorities knew they needed to step in and move these pronghorn to more hospitable terrain. But how do you even catch an animal that can easily outrun a human within two days of being born? By helicopter, of course. But before pronghorn can get a lift, Researchers have to find a location with room to roam and abundant food. That's where graduate student and researcher Leanna Morin comes in. It took me a little while to find exactly what I wanted to do. I studied fashion for a little bit, but then realized that wasn't where my passion was. Leanna is one of many humans who have dedicated their careers to restoring this iconic West Texas population. My focus is their diet. I not only look at what they're eating, but that nutritional value of those plants. My research will hopefully help biologists and other wildlife officials decide if an area is safe to release pronghorn on and there's enough food for them to survive. This looks like a yellow flame flower, and this would be a nice choice for a pronghorn. Leanna and other students with the Borderlands Research Institute have sampled across 31 million acres of land in West Texas. When they find a location that can support the pronghorn, they work with wildlife authorities, officials from Texas Parks and Wildlife, and trained private citizens to airlift the pronghorn to their new home. A crew specializing in large mammal captures will find the pronghorn, and then the net gun will be shot over one or two pronghorn. Once netted, experts work quickly and carefully. To keep the animal calm during transport, it's given a blindfold, and to prevent injury, its legs are gently tied together. The goal of all of this is to handle the pronghorn as safely as possible. And then the pronghorn is then put into a sling and then attached with a rope to the helicopter. Then they're transported to a handling station. Here, biologists do a checkup, where they attach ID tags through the pronghorn's ear cartilage, much like a human might pierce an ear, and place a breakaway GPS collar so researchers can track these pronghorn to ensure they're healthy well after they've been relocated. Once an animal has been checked out, it's placed in a cattle trailer and driven to its new home. Over the past 11 years, this multi-organizational team has moved more than 800 pronghorn, and they're not calling it quits until this species is safe. It means a lot to me to be a part of this team. This research will hopefully carry way beyond just the time that I'm at school, and I'm really excited to help these pronghorn be successful. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe, and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.